Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Titan Tube Midge. This fly is from Landon Mayer's book, Guide Flies, Easy to Tie Patterns for Tough Trout. This fly was designed for stillwater anglers and imitates the bloodworm stage of a chrononomid. It can be tied in various colors of microtubing and wire, and it's suggested to tie it in sizes 12 through 16. Here's our flying device. So the hook we're going to use today is a TMC 2302 in a size 14 and I've got a 330 seconds black brass bead. You could also use tungsten to get it down a little bit quicker. And this fly uses some microtubing from hairline. In this case we've used clear. It'd be kind of hard to see on camera. And the toughest part of this whole fly is to get the wire inside the tubing. So for this fly we've used both black ultra wire, oops, in small and in red. This is the hardest part of the whole fly in my opinion, and that is getting this wire inside the tube like that. And now to get the wire to advance in the tube, I found that it's easiest to push on the tubing itself and give it a little twist as you go rather than try to push the wire into the tubing. And to do two flies on a hook this size, I would advance the tubing about two inches inside the tubing, cut it off, and then leave probably a good inch to an inch and a half of wire extending out both sides of the tubing. And we want to wrap the wire around the hook and keep the wire from twisting, which is not easy task sometimes. We want the black and white stripes alternate, and if you let it twist, it won't do that. Then we're going to wrap this up till we get about a bead length behind the bead, like that. Now we're going to take the other end of that wire and we're going to wrap it down the hook bend three turns. One, two, three. And then like before, don't let the wires cross. Pull that tight and just up out of our way. Now we're going to take some Vivas dot in the color white. Get our thread started right behind that bead. And we're going to capture our wire, a couple tight turns, got a pair of scissors here that I use just for cutting wire. And next we're going to tie in some Vivas pearlescent in the size large. And we need a, about a one or two inch piece of that, not even that really. Turn a point on that to aid in tying it in. I tie this in with the curl down so that it stays out of the way as I'm working with the fly. And I'm going to tie this in right on top of the hook and wrap back about a bead's length. So, and then we're going to take the mylar and we're going to make one turn around that wire body. And then advance it a turn and Capture it with our thread, tie that off. Cut off our excess. And the collar for this fly is going to be just a ostrich plume, color white. A nice one here. And we're going to get this started just in front of that mylar. And take our wraps forward. Like so, capture it with our thread. Cut off our excess. I like to take a touch of super glue and 
put that on the thread. Probably not necessary, but it's a habit. Got a whip finish tool. Seat the knot. Cut our thread. And now the wire at the back. We'll take our old dull pair of scissors. Cut that off. And once again, just a dab of super glue to hold all of that in place. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.